Hey guys, Katie Lamb here. I hope you are doing well. I know we're going through some difficult times with this coronavirus and wherever you are in the world, you're likely experiencing some sort of restrictions. You might have been sent home from your place of work and if you can't do your job online, it's likely you are looking for a different way to make money and freelancing is a way to make money online. When I started out as a freelance writer over six years ago now, it did take me a bit of time to start picking up my first few clients that paid me well. And this is why I wanted to make this video today, the seven step plan to make money freelancing fast, because I know with this current situation, people are wanting to make money quickly. Now I've been freelancing for over six years, I realized there's a lot that I wasn't doing when I started out that would have helped me get clients faster. And I want to share those things that I've learned with you today. There are multiple types of freelance job you can get and they generally fall into three categories. These are tech, creative, and organizational so you probably gonna be better at one area than the other and if you have some skills in one of these areas that's great but if not don't worry in the video I'm going to share with you where you can get some free training to give yourself a better chance of getting these positions right we're going to dive into the video now the seven step plan to make money freelancing fast and if you haven't already give me a subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when i put new videos out now we're going to look at the seven step plan on how you can make money freelancing fast and number one is decide how you can help people like we all naturally have more skill for one area than we do in another like some of us might be a bit more techy and some more creative or some more organized also you have to enjoy what you're doing because even though it's freelance you can work for yourself be your own boss set your own hours you want to mostly enjoy what you're doing even though it still works so when you're deciding how you can help people have a think about what you are good at if you have some natural skill in any of these areas and also have a think about what you enjoy so the three main areas of freelance work are tech so this covers jobs like coding uh, web development it video editor and seo manager a digital marketer I haven't written every single job down there's lots of different techie jobs but these are just ones that came to mind so you might already know how to do some of these things you might not or you might be interested in them and like I said I'm going to share with you some free training where you can get some skills in the video a bit later on and the next area is creative like some of you might be more creative and um, enjoy things like in the creative field a bit more so these types of jobs are a writer editor graphic designer creating logos um, lead generation on social media um selling things on like an online store so again this list is not exhaustive there's loads of creative jobs and creative um types of jobs that you could help people with in their own businesses and the third category is are you organized so there are lots of freelance jobs where they need organized people so if you're that type of person or you enjoy being organized you could uh, get some sort of freelance work to do with like data entry VA so like a virtual assistant so many people are using VAs these days instead of sort of like having you know a PA in the office like they're having a virtual assistant now so these people are sort of highly organized they'll help people plan their day plan their business and 
you can do all sorts of jobs as a VA. Again, it depends what you're good at, it depends what you can do, and it depends what you want to do. So there's quite a lot of scope there being a VA. And things like a social media manager, you could help people develop that if you're organized and you know, you've already built up a good um, following on your social media accounts and you know how, you know, to be able to post every day on a schedule for a business, this could be a good job for you. Um, some sort of coach. So this is like a vast area. Like, again, what can you help people with? How can you coach people? It can be so many different things like a business coach, a life coach, a, you know, all different types of coaches and things like customer support. So they generally need to be quite organized as well because you're going to be helping people and maybe like supporting people through a situation. So they're the general three categories. So have a think what you would enjoy more and then you can narrow down what sort of freelance work you want to get. So the second thing to look at is how to advertise yourself in multiple ways. So once you've decided on what sort of freelance job you want to get and type of business you want to set up, you have to advertise yourself. You have to talk to people. And you know, like we used to have a CV and you still can have a, you know, a CV online, but there are so many other ways as well to reach people online so the number one is linkedin it's like a massive platform there's loads of businesses on there and there's actually loads of people looking for workers as well so definitely one of the number one places to find work when you're starting out as a freelancer so on your other social media as well where does your ideal client have a presence so say if you wanted to be a freelance writer like i am like you don't have to just apply for jobs on job boards although you can do that but things like looking on Facebook, there's going to be writer groups, there's going to be job boards on Facebook, there's going to be businesses on Facebook who might need a writer. So you can talk to people there, like, you know, there's going to be people who need writers on social media. So have a think about what where your ideal client is, and then you can find them and talk to them and present yourself to them there. And other platforms are like Upwork, Fiverr, Guru, and these platforms, I know Fiverr hasn't got that reputation for earning loads of money, but it's one where you can get started and you can put your rates a bit lower to start with, obviously, to gain some experience. And then when you get testimonials, you can move on and up your rates. And another way to advertise yourself is making a simple website. So you might not have any money to pay for a website, even though it's really cheap, you can get hosting for like a few dollars a month. But if you wanted to do it totally free, you can actually make a free website on Wix, which is really simple to use as well. And it's a good thing to have, especially if you're like a writer like me, or even if you're an editor or any other type of freelancer, it can be like your little CV in the cloud. Like when people ask you for, uh, what you've done before you can have like even just like a simple one page website where you can have some examples of things you've written or jobs you've done on a simple Wix website so it is a really good thing to have but you don't have to have a website so just going to quickly show you how to set up your profile for success on a few of the different platforms I mentioned. And the first one is LinkedIn. Like I said, this one's really important. It's one you should definitely be on to promote yourself as a freelancer. So you want like a really clear picture of your face so people can see you. You can have like a photo which sort of shows a little bit what you do and then you want a really good strap line this is the first thing people are going to see when they click on to your profile so you want it to say what you do how you do it and how it will benefit the person to get them interested so mine is affiliate marketer freelance writer i help nine to five escapees earn remotely by building a niche affiliate marketing business so when people see that they know what i do and how it will benefit them um, 
a little bit further down you don't have to have this bit but you can have like an open to job opportunities section so you can add in things that you're interested in taking on different types of jobs you're open to doing so like we discussed once you've chosen what you're going to do you can add that in there plus any other things you're good at or you're knowledgeable about that you can help people with and then you want to fill out your profile a little bit so some people will click on this to read a bit about you so again the about section tell people a little bit about what you do or what you can do for them as well then you can have like a featured section so here you can add in any links you have like if you've made that simple website for yourself or you have a youtube channel you can have that there so you can see here i've got some training and my youtube channel and then down it just shows some activity of um, when you're interacting with people and anything that you post on linkedin and then you can have an experience section so don't worry if you haven't got any experience to start with with the freelancing because a lot of you won't but like i said over time you will get that and you can add that into your experience section and this is why it's good to do some work for sort of either free or very cheaply to start just to build up your experience and get some testimonials which you can put down here and then you can have a skills and endorsement section which obviously you can add to as time goes on and you can ask people for endorsements and yeah you can have any accomplishments you've got down here to show people any training you've done which like a if you take any of the free courses like i'm going to mention later in the video you can add those in here and people you follow down the bottom so that's linkedin and then upwork like i said it's another great platform it's not the only one but it's one i'm just going to go through today so if you have a profile on here obviously you want to make it stand out just going to have a look at some people's profiles here to give you ideas so when you're doing yours you can check out other people's profiles in your niche just to see what they've written so let's have a look at this lady so she's got her strap i'm professional graphic designer specialized in print design so you know right away what she does and then she tells a bit about what you know experience she's had in the past and she's got 100 percent success rate which gives people um a good see into the type of person she is she's got her hourly rate what she's earned how many jobs she's done so she's got lots of experience but don't let this put you off you know everybody starts somewhere and she says about what you know, some of the most popular things that she does down below and a bit of work history so again don't worry if you don't have this to start with it's something you can build on like i said she's you know 50 dollars per hour which is a decent amount you might want to start a bit lower um your hourly rate just to build up um some experience and then you can put your rate up later and i just wanted to show you my writing website it's pretty basic i haven't updated it in years but it's just something like i mentioned it's good to have like a cv you can have like samples on here your rates and any testimonials bit of an about section so people can check you out um like they will check you out on LinkedIn and the other platforms you don't have to have this but like I say you can get one done for free on Wix so mine is Katie Bites freelance content writer and then I've got a little bit about um, the type of content I do and then a little bit about me and then how I can benefit the other person so this is really important you don't want to just talk about yourself tell people how you can benefit them if they work with you so like I said it's not necessary to have one but it's just good to have and you can have your samples and rates and just a bit more information on there that people can look at um, maybe before they actually want to reach out to you and talk to you it's step number three in your seven step plan to make money freelancing fast is create an email template and a message template to send to prospects just going to quickly go through the sort of thing you could write so from my point of view as a freelance writer i would write something like this so good afternoon my name's katie lamb and I'm a freelance writer specializing in blog content 
website copy and let's say product description so I'm just making this up obviously you would say what you can offer as a freelancer so it might be if you're into SEO or designing or whatever it is you say what you can do for that person so remember we don't want to make it too about ourselves you just want to tell them what you can do for them if you have a specialized niche like say if you're a designer for um you know restaurant businesses then make that clear because you're only going to be contacting restaurant businesses and you want to tell them your speciality so i said my name's kt i'm a freelance writer specializing in blog content website copy and product descriptions if you've got experience you can tell them that and then you can go on to say um you can check out like because you would have set up your linkedin profile or your simple website by now or your upwork profile and um you can say check out my profile on linkedin and you can also see examples of my work here and then you can write your website in so mine's like katie lamb writes dot com then if you wanted to you could say your rates or if you're willing to do some work for free like i said that's a good thing before you've got any experience so you could say so a way in could be say I'm offering a two week trial of my work in return for a testimonial and the possibility of staying on paid if you like my work this is just very raw guys I mean it doesn't have to be exactly this I'm just giving you an example so as a complete newbie you're not going to have any experience so a way in is to offer like a free trial so obviously you need money now so you don't want to make it too long but offering a free trial you can even if you don't get kept on paid you can get some testimonials from that so i've told them what i can do for them where they can check me out and you can also add in what you can do for them as well like if you have a lot of knowledge about a certain subject you can tell them that if not you can uh, your way in could be like I said offering a few weeks work for free um, yes so this would be I would write like a base email like this and then I would obviously change who I'm talking to and where I'm sending it and if I if it was a company I really wanted to work for I'd personalize it even more and you can even um, tell them something that you love about their business and why you want to work for them so just going to go over on to LinkedIn now. So I'm on LinkedIn now. So I'm just going to show you how you can message people on LinkedIn as well. It's a little more personal here. You can write out um, like a message that you can send to everyone, but it's also a little more personal and you might want to create a different message for each person so just say you were looking to get freelance work as a virtual assistant and you were targeting bloggers so you can go in the search bar and type in blogger and you can check on people so you can also change like the area that you're searching in so have a think about that so location think about where you know people who would need your services that they've got enough money that they would pay a virtual assistant so for example this guy 
is a blogger and entrepreneur and author he might need the help of a virtual assistant so if he's someone you wanted to target um, I'm just going to show you his profile now because on LinkedIn unless you pay for the um, prime subscription you can't just directly message someone look if I check on there um, you have to have premium which I haven't got and I don't want to pay for that but that doesn't mean you can't message someone so what you can do you can connect with them so you press on the connect and it gives you the option to add a note so I've done this before when I was looking for freelance work I would find the person I wanted to message and then I'd go to connect add a note and you can write a message so you only get like 300 characters so it can't be really long but again just write hi who you are uh, what you can do for the person like what you're offering and you can say something you love about their company or something like that or any experience you've had so and then you send them the invitation so that's a way to message people on LinkedIn to get freelancing work step number four in your seven step plan to make money freelancing is emailing or messaging 50 to 100 people a day I know that sounds a lot but like I said when I started this is what I did and the more people you can message the more people you can speak to the more chance you've got of getting freelance work it's a bit of a numbers game but once you've got your email template and your message template like I said it's just a copy and paste send it out but obviously personalize it if you know the person's name or the name of the company or if it's someone in particular you really want to work for step number five in your seven step plan to make money freelancing is by getting your friends family and connections to help you to share what you can do to share your freelancing skills so again I'm on LinkedIn just wanted to show you one way to do that and like I said LinkedIn is one of the best platforms for you to get onto to get freelancing work and I just wanted to show you a message here so this is one of my connections Gagan and he's a virtual assistant digital marketer and I connected with him a while ago and followed some of his posts and he regularly does posts he's looking for work as um, a virtual assistant as you can see he's written hi LinkedIn family if anybody looking for help in social media or looking for a virtual assistant connect with me please share this post so he's asking his connections to share for him but what he's done that is really good as well then he's gone and tagged a lot of people in here um, so we get notified of his message so we would have seen his message anyway but we might have missed it but being tagged like tagging your connections or friends or family and asking them to share it for you is going to get your you know freelance services in front of so many more people so you can see he's done like a little graphic here need virtual assistance who can handle your daily tasks connect with me um, yeah, so it's just a really good way to offer your freelance services and get your skills in front of a lot more people. You can leverage your connections on LinkedIn or other social media like this by tagging people, writing a cool message, telling people what you do and asking your connections and your friends and family to share. Step number six in your seven step plan to make money as a freelancer is to create samples of your work or offer two weeks for free obviously it doesn't have to be exactly two weeks I've just given this as an example but you need to give someone a reason to trust you or why would they buy from you you need to show you can actually perform and do the job that you say you can do so if you haven't got samples that's okay but I definitely say would do some if you can so say like me if you're into freelance writing I'm just going on to my website again you can see I've got a samples page and so when I apply to work with someone as a freelance writer I'll send them a link here and say check out my samples and I've got 
obviously you can send them other samples as well but it's quite professional to have them here on a website and I've linked to ones that have actually been published which gives you even more credibility but obviously you won't have that straight away and that's okay you can even um, if you're a writer like put your work on platforms like medium and there's other sort of writing platforms out there um, yeah it's just good to have stuff to show people to show you can do what you say you're doing but obviously not all types of freelance jobs um, you can have samples like that uh, but just wanted to show you fiber as well so things even like creative stuff like on here you can see like logo design I've gone to I'm just going to click on someone's profile here they're going to have samples so if someone goes to them for logo design they're going to be able to go to their profile and this one's all about um, illustrations for books you can see here you can have a little scroll through and see the different illustrations that this person has created and like everyone on Fiverr or Upwork is the same they will have um, their examples on here for people to look at you know when they're gonna buy a service from them a freelance service they want to be able to see they can actually do what they say uh, they can do so step number seven is just repeating steps four to six so emailing people daily about your freelancing skills so remember 50 to 100 people a day and messaging people and talking to people daily on your social media asking your friends and family to share your message share what you can do for other businesses and number seven is making sure you have samples so using some other downtime time to create samples of, of your freelance work whether that's like logo design designing a website or um, like freelance articles um, but if you haven't got that remember you can just offer to work a period for free like a couple of weeks works well and say you're doing it for a testimonial just keep repeating that daily and don't give up don't get disheartened if you don't get replies and don't get get disheartened if you don't get freelance work right away it's a bit of a process but if you stick at it you can get freelance work for those of you who stuck with me till the end I've got some extra tips for you on where to find free training like I talked about at the start um, the basic areas to get freelance work in are like tech, creative or organizational and while some of you might have skills in those areas already that's great all you need to focus on is just getting the clients and talking to people every single day reaching out to people if you haven't got the skills that's totally cool as well now is the perfect time to do some training get some skills and there's loads of free training with this virus going on many big companies are giving their training away for free to help people out so as you can see I'm on the Moz Academy page and they've got a lot of training which they normally charge hundreds of dollars for as you can see look starter pack 149 289 595 so they normally charge a lot for their training but as you can see free training for all access to over a dozen on-demand courses to level up your SEO skill set so search engine optimization so this is a skill that you can help other people with like helping them improve their SEO of their websites of their business websites so you just use their promo code on the website and go and take some of their courses um, SEO essentials SEO client prospecting so they even teach you how to find clients so some extra help from what we've been talking about today um, fundamentals for SEO keyword research page optimization backlink basics so this is all stuff that people need help with so check out Moz Academy um, another one is Allison.com I've talked about this before in some other videos but they've got tons of courses on here free and paid and just having a look so um, a freelance skill is like marketing we talked about social media marketing so they have a lot of free training for this on Allison.com so you could come on here and check out some of their courses 
Uh, just having a look, top social media marketing courses. Yeah, so social media strategy for small businesses, diploma in social media strategy, and I checked this out today, it is free. So you could get a diploma in social media strategy and help some businesses with their social media. Another one is coding for you techie people out there. Uh, Code Academy has tons of free training on here. It's even got free scholarships for students affected by COVID-19. So yeah, Code Academy, if you want to learn to code, if you're techie, if that's something you would enjoy, go check out Code Academy. Another one is going back to LinkedIn, LinkedIn Learning. They have tons of courses on here. They give you one month for free. So go to LinkedIn Learning, start my free month and just have a look through their stuff. They've got loads of stuff for like business, online from um, content marketing writing blogging seo tons of seo stuff on here um e-commerce social media marketing so again tons of skills that you can get that will relate to you getting a online freelance job another one hubspot so tons of free training on here um, they got free webinars, as you can see, Microsoft stuff, um, lead generation, so tons of stuff on there, and just use good old Google, so I googled free courses Udemy, and tons of stuff comes up, you've probably heard of Udemy, they do paid stuff, which is pretty cheap anyway, so you could even do some of the cheaper paid ones, like $10, $15, and, but there's tons of free stuff on there as well, so, um, I've not written a whole list of all the free training out there. There's tons more. So have a Google and see what you can find and take some courses, get some skills. So that is your seven step plan to make money freelancing fast. If you stick at it, you message people every day, connect with people you define what you do and you tell people how you can help them and get the right skills if you haven't got them you will get freelance work and be able to make money online give this video a like and subscribe and drop me any questions below